Hey guys, how's it going? Lunith here, and welcome back to another episode of my Indivisible Let's Play series on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we started off by getting captured and got put in a prison, which we then escaped. Once we escaped the prison, we managed to make our way out of the building, only to discover we were really high up in the sky in Fortress Romana. We then came across another prisoner called Zebe, who we helped escape, and he joined our party. And then we came across an elevator that we believed would take us to Lord Ravanavar. However, it was blocked by magic, and in order to disable the magic, we had to go destroy the power console for the whole fortress, which we did do, and then the fortress started to fall. We, however, were still able to make it up to Lord Ravanavar, and we had a little fight with him. We beat him, but he told us he was just way too powerful for us, and he jumped off the fortress and went to a place called Sumeru. We then jumped out of the fortress as well but didn't get anywhere near some area, it was a long way. But we just fell and fell and fell. And we got saved by a bird, which was trained by a character called Kushi, who is a protector. And we told Kushi that we were going to basically be going to, uh, to Sumeru, which is a sacred place. And as a protector or guardian, Kushi had to basically join us um, in order to make sure nothing, basically no harm came to the sacred place. So now our party consists of uh, let's have a look at the party. It consists of Dar, Ajna, Zebe, and Kushi at the moment. Just going to try them out and see how things go. And yeah, let's start this episode by going to the right. And jump. And jump. And I'm going to try... Okay, I was going to try and make use of my bow to stun him or whatever, but... Charge him up. Make the defense a bit. Okay, so I don't really know how. Oh, I don't even know what I did there. I need to work out how Cushy works. Okay, so her normal X seems pretty underwhelming. If I remember correctly, at the end of the last one, we learnt Cushy's control. I think I can look at her controls. Uh, it's under abilities? Nope. That's something completely different. Let's have a look at Cushy character info. So, up and attack and down attack change modes. Cushy can ride out in with up and attack to this man. Okay, so if I use up and attack, then I might be able to start using extra attacks. While riding, up and attack consumes all of my things. The more things I have, the more hang time and damage. Okay, so I press up and attack to go in the sky, and then when I've got a full three uses of attacks, I should then be doing that. Okay, so what's happening here, I think? I need to be shooting that. Yes. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Dash. Let's try and shoot that guy and then chop him. Gives me the advantage. Okay, let's. Let's block that. So with Cushy, I should in theory be doing just. Wait, up and attack. Up and attack, there we go. Charge up Dar a little bit. And then if I do an up and attack, I wait till after this attack. Then if I do an up and attack with Cushy now, it should be a pretty powerful. I need to break the armor though. Wow, yeah, okay, Cushy does quite a lot of damage, but it is quite a lot of time to ramp it up. Okay, let's make our way up. Ouch, okay, that's definitely not safe to land on. Spiky ice equals bad. Okay, so I need to jump, jump, grab on, and go up. I think I'm not meant to be doing that. Jump, jump, grab on, and up. Jump over to this. Jump, jump, grab on and go up. There we go. That looks to be good. Let's shoot this guy and then... Okay, I need to shoot them when I get closer. Okay, 
So now, if I do up and X with her and I just attack with the star, I'll probably kill them off anyway. Yeah, for these small fights, Cushy's almost too. She might be good for big, big fights at least. Can I like shoot that? No. We really shouldn't be doing this. It feels wrong to be here. Zebe, didn't your people tell stories about this place? They did. The elders say that something truly evil is sealed in this mountain. Eh, most legends about ancient evils are overblown anyway. Half the legends where I'm from are just about me and Bomb. As long as we're careful and stick together, we'll be all right. Won't we? I know you're all worried, but I have to do this so my father can pass safely into the next life. You don't have to come with me, but I'm going on. I'm gonna chop his head off. You've settled on chopping, eh? I have. I will follow you to repay my debt for your earlier kindness. I'm honor-bound to do it. But I cannot say I approve of this course. Yes, we must be mindful. Ravanavar's remaining forces seem to be more concentrated here as well. Okay, let's continue. Oh. What on earth is that? Let's shoot it. And then chop it. Okay, so she's gonna go up, lock the attack. Finish it, there we go. Okay, looks like another thing I need to shoot with an arrow. And I guess I've got to be semi quick. And I wasn't quick enough. Can I reshoot it? Does it reset the timer or? No. Let's okay, so shoot that. Jump, 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 axe, jump. Jump, axe, jump. Perfect. Uh, oh. So I've got the ring cell, but now I need to get the other way. Pretty simple. What on earth is that? everything out of this creature will die. 160 experience for fighting him. That seems a bit easy. Ah, oh, how'd I fall? So hop up, hop, hop, hop. I need to grab on there. Ow. Hop, 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 got it. Yeah, she's a down and triangle. The attack. So let's smash him up now. Nice try. Too hard to finish him. Okay, this other one still got a lot of health. Do an up and square, and then a couple of. Okay, that works fine. I'm going to power up Dara a tiny bit. And then just 
just attack with everything. Now we've got one of these things above us. Oh wow, I have to be quick. I think actually I was going to jump off that other thing. Let's try and work this out. So up here and then like that. There was a place to the right as well though. I hope there wasn't anything important I could get there. guys now. Oh, this guy. Should have really waited till they kind of really packed up together. Because then on my attacks with a cleaved sort of thing. Special delivery. Up in the air with her, out of interest, I'll just do... Her plane just X actually is pretty powerful when she's in the air. So maybe that's what I should be doing with Cushy on shorter fights, just putting her in the air and then... Like she gets obviously knocked out of the air if she gets attacked, but... Even so, just putting her in the air and doing some standard attacks seem to work pretty well. Alright, let's smash our way through this wall. And we have to go up even more, that's a simple jump. Max my way up, then max my way up here. Shoot that, and max my way up there. Oh, that did not work to plan. Okay, so I assume I'm meant to be able to, I can't, oh I see, I'm meant to jump at that point, okay. So jump, jump, axe. Get up here quickly. So, jump, axe. Jump, jump, jump. Hmm. Oh, I managed to get somewhere. And I fell. I think I probably need to jump off that last stone, maybe. Get back up here again, shoot that, so jump, axe, jump, 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 ah. <laughs> jump, jump, there we go, okay, oh wait, I wasn't meant to be axing onto that again. Okay, so, axe up to there, jump, jump. Jump, jump, axe. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Made Cushy go up and then back down. I didn't mean to do that. with these standard guards now. Oh, yeah, I should have seen that breaking. They looked very, very weak. I get to refight this guy at least. Just use the R1 attack, just finish him off. Okay, so hop, 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 hop. Okay, that didn't go too bad. Uh, okay. Can I find any way of getting starting to that gap? No, that's going to be luck of the turn back then. Oh. 
didn't even see it to the last second. to not cush it out of here, don't they? Should be able to finish at least his front one. Okay, let's keep going. Axe that and just jump up. Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Oh. I put these spawns. Yeah, there we go. Jump, jump, jump. Oops. They look like there could be a way up there as well. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna run. It also looks like there's a way up there. Maybe there's a whole bunch of different ways to get in the way I want to go and uh, obviously some will be shorter than the others. beat these guys. Pod's definitely getting bigger, like four enemies this time. Should be good experience for this fight. Yeah, th 320 experience for those guys is insane. That's actually so much. Oops. Do I have time still to do what I should be doing? Yeah, I do. Jump up here. Then jump up here. Uh, I can dash a bit, can I? To speed things up. Not if I fall in. Not if I fall in again. There we go. Oh, if I dash jump, do I go further? Oh, I think I do. New discovery for me. Oh, flying enemy. Ha, take that. Go okay, through here. You have the advantage. Don't hate me too much. Let's power up Dar's attacks. Let's let's go high with Cushy, why not? Oh, these enemies take so long to kill. Oh, this attack is a grab, it can be blocked. It can't be blocked, sorry. Instead, tap the target's attack at this 
just the right time to avoid it. Okay, so... Didn't, didn't manage to avoid that, did I? I thought these guys take half damage from almost all my attacks, uh, isn't ideal. See, they give me 124 experience, so they're 62 experience each. And those little other ones gave 324 to so their 80 experience each. Makes no sense, given how hard those ones are compared to the others. Okay, so I'll stop here and then I guess... Oh, I over-jumped because I dash-jumped. Yeah, I've got plenty of time, I think, to just run and jump, run and jump, run and jump. No, no, no. I meant to use axe, not bow. Oh, and now I'm just... Okay. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Um, axe. Save myself there just about. Okay, good. Not so good. Probably should uh, pay a bit of attention. Don't want to walk into her. This fight's very annoying as it is, starting without the advantage. Actually, it's only one of them with a couple of the other guys. Let's just charge him up. Let's try R1 with Cushy. Uh, that didn't work because I didn't have R1 available. Alright, uh, let's just do Dar's R1. It'll kill everything. Well, it won't kill it, but it'll weaken them a lot. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so jump, axe, jump. Okay, yeah. I just have to continue with that jump. And I messed that up. So, axe, jump, jump, jump. And I'm over. Good. Ouch. There's a ring cell on the right. How do I get to that? Ooh, okay, I'm going to be acting up that bit. So let's jump, 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 and axe. But I kind of want to get to that. Somehow I need to be able to jump up the other side. Maybe I'll just shoot the ring cell and I get it. That's not going to work. Uh, I will leave that one for now. Maybe I can come back in the future to get it. And if not, then I guess it's going to be a tiny bit longer to get it strong. Oh, 
I need to um just get more used to that but for now Running to the left. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait. Jump, jump, axe. Jump, jump, shoot. Yeah, okay. tricky with the uh, skill aspects that I'm not so good at. There he is, the Varnavar. Oh, you have no idea how it pleases me to see you here. Ajna, wasn't it? Your curiosity has bested your judgment and your strength has carried you here. To think, after all my efforts, after all these years of breaking once proud warriors, you were the only one I needed. I don't want to hear any of that stuff. I just want to avenge my father. You aren't the least bit curious about your past? Where you truly come from? Well, no matter. It saves me explaining. Now, follow me, child. And we'll plunge the world into darkness! Wait! Lord Ravanovar, I must ask you. I've always considered you the father I never had. You raised me and taught me right from wrong. You always said you wanted a world of peace. Quiet yourself, boy. I suppose I must have scooped you off the streets because you had a fair amount of itty. But compared to this girl, you are nothing world of peace of course the only peaceful world is one without humanity be gone with you now girl let us resume no talking i'm coming for your head You are avenged. What? All right. Uh, okay. against whatever <laughs> this is. Oh, you. It's over. Oh. I don't think this guy's going to be too tough to beat, but we'll see. That and just use both stars attacks. Try harder. Yeah, I'm gonna 
gonna charge up Dawn, get a cool three attacks in. Should chunk the health a lot. Oh, okay, we just got knocked way back. Did he run away? Ow. No. Oh. Scary fireballs. I just keep shooting arrows, is that? Okay, yeah, I can hit the uh, fireballs with my arrows, that's cool. Probably a bit less easy if they're coming down in batches like that. Slide under those. Oh, don't want to jump into those. Ow! Well fought, young one. I almost had to try. <laughs> now, about that monster we were discussing earlier. In truth, the divine being known as Kala is sealed here. Kala? She's the maker and destroyer of worlds. Almost correct. She was sealed here by Ajna's own father, Ender, and three of his ambitious friends. Oh yes, Ajna. I know about your father. Dad did that? I see you don't know him as well as I. No matter. Wouldn't you like to see for yourself? Okay, looks like we are gonna fight him some more. Charge up Da, get Cushy in the sky. Let's try using. I can't remember what Asma's attack does. That ain't nothing. Much. I wanna. Let's just go with Cushy on a. Two. Attack with Da. Got some good damage there at least. Charge a bar again. Why is he not getting hurt? That's cheating. Go off with her. Okay. I think I get why he's not getting hurt by some attacks, but I think I have to kind of knock him down by hitting him from the sky and then... Maybe I just have to hit him a certain number of times, I'm not sure actually. Let's go up with Cushy then. Cushy does a lot of attacks, but I have to do so many attacks to break his defense. Let's dash, dash, dash. Guess we're going to have to do some more climbing and chasing. Okay, let's uh, jump and jump and jump and jump. It's going to be rough trying to time it. I didn't time it very well. Okay, let's go. No. Depends if the ball's coming left or right. Okay, let's just go now. No. Now. Now. No. Yeah. Too early again. Okay. No. I need them not to spawn on the right hand side when that happens. Wait, it's a predictable. Hold on. Left. Left, kind of middle, right, okay, it's predictable. Middle and right, now it's when I go. No, nope, that was not it. Left, go. Okay, I'm gonna hold on with the axe and then push off. So. 
when the right one goes, I'll go. Nope, but I'm getting better. Okay, I'll take that as progress. I'll go the moment two left ones have gone, and the middle one. Nice, okay. That was a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. Let's dash. Oh. I'm actually going to die if I'm not careful. Go. Dash. Let's just get down here. So I'm going to go after this one. Right. Now. Okay, and I'm in another fight at least. Certainly. We have arrived at our destination after all. You see? The seal that keeps Kala from us. It is imperfect. It can be broken, and I will be the one to do it. Kala will return to cleanse the world of its impurities. She will create a new world, and this one will fall to ash. So this is the perfect world you spoke of. I was a fool. You were no father to me. I was merely your plaything. Well observed, child. But your angst will not help you. This world will be destroyed. Won't you die along with it? Why would you do that? But I long to see the end of this world. This has been my life's goal. To begin the world anew and create a paradise. And I shall be gloriously reborn. I don't know who this Kala is or why you think I'm going to help you, but I'm not letting you break that seal. Throw all the heads you want. Okay, and we're fighting again. Let's get Ashley back up. So I basically need to break, it's the heads that I need to be breaking, isn't it? Then we just start doing damage. If I send her high in the sky. Yeah, I'm going to get Ashna back up. Hopefully soon. Goodness me, stuff is hurting. Nice. Not the combo I wanted to do with her. Sure. <laughs> I think I'm in a lot of trouble here. I have no way now to charge up enough to... So the question is, where do I reset when I die? Is this far back? I can't remember. I have to restart the whole fight again. Okay, I'll just skip back to the next bit for you guys, but... I do it myself, obviously. Okay, so I'm back at the final part of the fight. Hopefully this time I don't fail it. Combos is such a loss of damage. Don't aim me 
too much. Attack and then I'll just throw everything at him. Is gonna be enough? Nah, yeah, not quite. One more set of attacks and should be a, a win. Okay, it seems like we're sucking this thing, I just gotta move eyes around. Yes! This is it! Break free! Come Wakey, wakey. What? Well, who are you? Why am I all wet? My name is Torani. I revived you with the water of life. Your... Is that your hair? Of course. Is there a problem? Oh, um, no. Sorry. <laughs> Just, where am I? How, how did I get here? Don't you remember? Oh, my poor wounded bird. I guess... I guess I don't. Then I will tell you what I saw. You flew across the Almuta Desert from the direction of Mount Sumeru and landed practically at my feet. I brought you back to my cave and I've been looking after you ever since. Oh, that's so kind. Think nothing of it, Luxao. I could feel your pain. You could feel it? What does that mean? I feel the joys and sufferings of all the world. It's my power and my curse. Oh, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I was having these terrible nightmares. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Healing others is one of my greatest joys. Still, if you're feeling everyone's pain, you must be really strong. Hmm, I might be. In a couple thousand years, you can get used to anything. Thousand? Yes, we Deva do live quite a long time by human standards. But we were expelled from Mount Sumeru 16 years ago, as you just were. 
At first, I hoped you might be one of us. But you're so much cuter than any Deva. Like a precious doll. I just want to eat you up. Ah, <laughs> I'm not that cute. You are, you are. Well, can you help me figure out what happened? You say I came out of Mount Sumeru. I think something happened there, but my brain is so cloudy, I just can't remember. Your memory will return, I'm sure of it. You have been sleeping for three days. You just need more time to recover. Days? Then where is everybody else? I only found you, Luxel. Oh no, my cloudy brain. They must still be stuck inside. Ugh, Ajna, it's about time you woke up. We were stuck in here. Bomb and I were so bored. Do let us out before we lose our own minds. <laughs> oh my! I'm sorry, everyone. What happened? You don't remember? We fought Ravonovar. You chopped his head off. He grew more heads. Chop, chop. He turned blue and got all spiky. You had all these eyes. It was disgusting. It was the best thing I ever saw. Oh. I changed somehow, didn't I? It's like you became a different person. I've never seen anything like it. And Ravonovar? I don't think anyone could have survived that blast at such close range. You know, when you broke Kala's seal? Kala? Oh, right. What happened to her? We don't know. We all got sucked into your inner realm and blasted off the mountain with you. But it didn't look good. At least Ravonovar is gone. But Kala... If she has broken free, that weight is on our shoulders. So that's what that surge of energy was. Kala has awakened. You know about Kala too? It was Kala who expelled the Deva from Mount Sumeru when she made it her home. <sighs> so who's this lady? Oh, that's right. This is Tarani. She took care of me. Hello, everyone. I'm so pleased to meet you all. Thank you again. Oh, and... I'm Achna. A sensitive young woman with a high amount of itty and a troubled past. I can sense it. I know more about you than you might expect. Creepy. I think I need to try to piece this all together. Okay, uh, let's have a little talk to everyone. Look how many friends you have. So many adorable babies. Yeah, trapped inside a monster brain. Now they all hate me. I don't think you're a monster. And they wouldn't have survived that blast alone. You probably saved their lives. But isn't it weird that I've been absorbing people? It's not that unusual. There are Deva and other creatures whose itty is augmented by others. But I don't want to be a creature. <laughs> you are too charming, Luxel. I never expected I'd be trapped inside another human. It's a good thing we don't have to eat while we're there. Or poop. <laughs> Fill your brain with poop, Ajna. Razmi! Hmm. Zebe, you seem like you have something to say? I'm not sure how to talk to you now. Who or what are you? Are you even the girl we knew before? I am. That's hard to believe. Not a lot of girls I know change into monsters when they get angry. No, a lot of girls, do ya? What? No, I, I, mean, I mean, yes, but not like that. <laughs> anyway, Ajna, if you have some relationship to Kala, none of us should even be associating with you. I don't have anything to do with Kala. Or, I don't think I do. I guess, I don't really know. That was fascinating and terrifying. I'm sorry. Don't be. We're botanists, but we're interested in all sciences. And you might be one of the greatest scientific discoveries of all time. Think of it. Harnessing the power of Kala. But I'm not Kala. I'm still me. I think. Oh, of course, of course. But if we figure out where that power of yours comes from, Think of everything we could do. Even if it's from Kala, you can control it and use it for good. Oh, hey, Ajna. So I was... 
blue? You were blue. But now you're not. Honestly, it's kind of disappointing. I'm sorry? He was like a father to me. But he cast me away. And he turned into a monster right before my eyes. How did things turn out this way? Everyone... I don't really understand what's happening with me. How did I get so strong? I was so angry. And did I release Kala? Is she free now? What does that even mean? It means we're gonna die. For once, I agree with the witch. Kala's power is released, and you are the one who released it. It means doom for this world. But I didn't mean to. Maybe you didn't. But you allowed yourself to be tricked by Ravanovar and did it just the same. What's more, he said your power was the same as Kala's. If that's true, you're a danger to all of us. I'm not dangerous. I don't think... I mean, I'm still me. Are you? That's a little harsh, Zepe. Frankly, I think I'm letting her off easy. Because of Ajna, I failed in my duties as a protector, and so have you, Kushi. We were meant to guard Sumeru. And now the worst imaginable thing has happened there, right in front of our faces. Even if Ajna did break this seal, as you say, I'm sure she didn't know what she was doing. Well, that's exactly the problem, though, isn't it? If she wields this strength without knowing where it's from or how to control it, she could destroy us all. Hmm. I suggest we all part ways now and leave Ajna to her own fate. You would abandon a young girl in the middle of the desert? What kind of person would do that? Wait, everyone! Listen to the wind outside! We couldn't split up now even if we wanted to. That's a sandstorm out there. None of us will be able to make it through by ourselves. This is all my fault. I'm gonna find a way out of here. It's the least I can do. Ajna, it's dangerous. Sorry, I have to try. Okay, so we need to find a way out. Let's go to the left. Uh, actually, this is probably a good point to save it. And end this episode here. So let's do a little save. Let's save over this one. Just want to double check that did save. Yep, happy with that. Okay, so I think I'm going to end that episode here. Seems like a good point to do it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. So, see ya!